We gave him some homework. I think that was a high <laughs> distinction. Nice. Absolutely outstanding stuff. So 10-day trade periods leads to impasses. What's happening with Geelong? Pick 24 and a Sava Radigalea. Well, it's a full-blown impasse at the moment. You can't say we weren't warned by Geelong. Chris Scott sat at this desk on 360 and said, we, we <laughs> he think he's too. a really good player. We're going to drive a very hard bargain. Andrew Mackey said as much ahead of the trade period. It's up to Port to get this done, and it's playing out that way. So Port Adelaide offered pick 24. That was uh, rejected by the Cats, I think. Which is now 26, isn't it? No, it's it, 24, it, but 24 it'll currently. 27 or 28. Yeah. Or it'll move back a few. So maybe potentially that's part of Geelong's thinking. But I think uh, Port would have nearly fallen off their chair when they found that that wasn't accepted, given they'd traded themselves to get into that position. Ollie Lord's a player of interest for the Cats, 21 years of age, key forward prospect, 13 games of senior football this season. He's still got a lot of work ahead of him, but I think Port are desperate and saying, we're keeping him, keep your hands off Ollie Lord. So this is something that's becoming a real real impasse for, for a player who, I mean, his values seem to have gone up as the days have commenced towards the trade period. Oh, he can play. His value's always been strong because of this. There's not many players yep. in that comp can do that. I look at Port Adelaide, and if nothing drastically changes with their backline stocks, Ken Hinckley doesn't win a flag. This is the sort of player they desperately need. Zerk Thatcher, you get him in. Does he really move the magnet that much? No. But they get another intercept marker in. Pay the price. Get the deal done. They've got to be brave enough to put it on the line and back themselves in. Alir Alir and, and Radigal as interceptors. Zerk Thatcher as the, the lockaway defender. Right now... They don't interrupt the opposition when they move the ball down the ground. And it only gets exposed at the pointy end of the year. Out in straight sets, if you want to be a, a genuine contender, you've got to shore up down back. Pick 24 was never going to get it done. So th they've got to get serious and bite the bullet and give Ken the chance. I thought 24 was going to go fairly close. For, for a lad who, as you say, he is incredibly gifted up there. Mm. Not much else has gone for him. You keep talking so, about gifted. He averaged eight possessions in his last eight games. And so yeah. he got injured in round 23. He's, he's been able to okay, do so that, John. So you believe your head that. is a gift. Okay. You that's guys a, believe, that's a you, gift. You believe able that he to do can that. be the Alir Alir type player that complements I Alir. think he's going to be more your Stephen May. He will take a few of those, but he's a bigger, heavier body that can lock down someone. And that way Alir Alir becomes your uh, Jake Lever, who can swing around, fly up, and he, he probably even more because he's live as a, a an athlete, he's able to get in, into positions and take those overhead marks. And Zerk so Thatcher will be your your third tall lockdown player who does what he does. It's a domino effect of, of the difference between having two guys that can win you the ball back rather than one, because Alir Alir gets dragged back to the goal square and has to guard a man and they just negate his impact in the air or his aerial it's capability, yep. and all of a sudden they're back to a basic back line. And he gets beaten every now and then and looks really poor. But when you've got extra support coming in, it changes the whole dynamic. This is a game-changer for Port. They'll get it done. I've got no doubt they'll get it done because they have to get it done. Is, is he durable enough? enough? Well, that's hard to know, isn't it? He goes to a club that are seriously chasing him, got a definite role for him, going to be part of the push uh, to the Premiership in 24. It's a pretty good starting point. So Have they done their, their, their medical check on him? Everything's all good to go. But the Geelong would say, you know, you're offering him somewhere around the six-year offer mark for a player who... It's 700 you, grand. A, a lot of money who you think is proven talent, so pay up to get him. And then Port Adelaide would say on the other side, this is a player who you tried to throw in, into a yeah. half-back role, didn't really work for you, so you sort of left him out of the side a few times. And, yes, injury had a say in that as well. But you can see both sides of the argument, but at the end of the day... It's a buyer's market. So you think Port, they need to overpay to get this done. They just need to make sure they get a Sava over the line. Within well, reason, of course. If you don't get it over the line, what changes down back? Yeah, that is well, you've true. Got to, we've seen that model. We've seen it fail at the pointy end of a, of a campaign that was pretty strong. They won 13 in a row. Everyone wants to talk about the home and away wins. But when they got to the end of the season, they looked vulnerable everywhere down back. Make the change, bite the bullet, give up something from next year's batch of uh, suite of picks. They're set in the midfield. Yep. They, they know what they're looking at forward of centre. They know what they've got. I, it's a no-brainer for me. So they do, they do Zane Dersman, they do, sorry, Xavier Dersman, Zane's brother for Brandon Zerf Thatcher. They do 48 for Jordan Sweet. They go 24 for this player. Now, there's going to be a massive pressure on Ken Hinckley, even though he's just signed a two-year deal. You reckon he's not saying, just throw him a third-year mm. deal or a, a second-year uh, pick next year. We get it done. We get our players in. We probably have to sign up Scotty Lysett for one more year because Zavan Solo doesn't want to come. You're right. They're not, not doing it for a late pick in the 2024 draft. So if you look at the, the recent dynasties, those dynasties have paid overs to get targeted players mm. into their club for specific needs.
We saw it with Collingwood and Dan McStay, didn't we, last year, and that worked mm -hmm. out for them, albeit not in the granny, but that's what you have to do to win the flag.